Well, I, I, you know, there was a great opportunity here with the script. The script, first of all, just built a world and a dynamic between characters where you saw a lot of potential for uh, comedy, for, for tension, for drama. Um, and when we brought Josh back first and then Dwayne side on and then Michael Caine, you quickly got the sense like we may have like something really special here because I'm getting my wish list, you know, uh, and it's actually happening quickly and kind of easily. Um, I think the real benefit was the collaboration between guys like myself and Dwayne. I mean, Dwayne's a superstar. He strives to achieve greatness in everything he does. There is a, a want to make the best thing possible. And Josh, Vanessa, Michael, Louis, they all had that, that quality about like, let's try to make this the best. Let's really work together to not only give their characters the opportunity to do something fantastic, but to then build something for the audience. So now you have the, the best experience possible uh, in, the, in the kind of most epic adventure possible. I'm a little bit like the rebellious teenager, just a bit, yeah. It's, but the, <laughs> It's terrible. I'm too old to be the rebellious teenager, but I have that in me. I just have that kind of defiance. And, and a part of it, I think, is just being a filmmaker where when people say, no, you can't, you're like, yeah, I can. I'm going to prove I can. You know? So it's like, I always say, like, you know, you build a fence and I'm going to show you how to hop over it. So you can't really confine me. Like, if, it's, if, it's, if we don't have enough money, I'll still figure it out. You know what I mean? If we don't have enough time, don't worry. I'm going to figure this out. It's my job. It's my job is to use the... The, the difficulties and to go past your expectations. So I definitely related to Sean in a way that, you know, was a little more personal. Look, when you sit down to do a movie like this, um, you know you're doing like a ride movie. You're doing like what's considered a popcorn movie, um, a big fun movie. But for me, honestly, if there's no heart, if there's no relation to the characters, it could potentially be empty, uh, no matter how big it is. So for me, like, the focus was to give you an emotional experience, for you to care about the characters, for you to relate to them, for you to understand who these people are, um, so that when they do get in danger, you care. Uh, so when they do succeed, you care. And I find a lot of movies don't put enough time and effort into doing that. Now, this is not a Ken Loach kitchen sink drama. But I know that, I, so I don't need to go that far. But I do still feel the need to give moments of like Louie and Vanessa connecting about their situation in life. Josh and Michael Caine and, and Dwayne connecting about being abandoned by their fathers. This is important to give them emotional resonance. So part of it is balancing out how big the spectacle is with how big the heart is. Um, and those two things work off each other really well. And the technology, to me, is just another tool for storytelling. How do I use this tool to tell the story in a way that I couldn't if I didn't have 3D? How do I tell the story in a way that I couldn't if I didn't have visual effects? So I look at it as a way to progress as a storyteller and to not get caught up in the technology, but to use the technology as just a way to achieve the shots I want to do, to tell the story I want to tell, and to progress as a filmmaker. I'm from one called Newfoundland, so I know that one exists. Um, I grew up in a place called Newfoundland, Canada, and uh, I, I find like anytime you leave civilization or you go into the jungle or into the wilderness, there, you're always going to be surprised. Things are always going to seem slightly mysterious, and this movie just kind of takes that idea of going into like a, a forbidden kind of like, you know, uh, uncivilized uh, place and just kind of fully exploring the dangers and the wonders of it. Part of it is, is that. Part of it is Josh having his own adventure. I'd also say that a big part of it is people learning how to be family, how to support each other and how to be there for each other. And the, the more you're in need, the more support they're going to give you. And it's about people understanding how they can uh, accept uh, help and trust the people in their families and around them to help them succeed over obstacles that seem too, too great for them uh, as an individual.